Peter here to come and help with our Land Rover parts. G'day rat bags. <laughs> We're going to be doing a uh, radius arms in this. Hopefully a few other bits and pieces on the side. Um, I have had to modify a couple of the radius arm bushes I had because I've got the wide ones instead of the narrow ones. But in any case, uh, we'll see how we go with the slave labor here, see how useful he is. And uh, we'll get going with the, uh, the repairs. So this one, this one will get it, that's probably the easiest one I've got. <laughs> yeah. For one person. Right, we're loose. Yeah, we're loose. Another one and I'll uh, Right, actually that bolt's in not bad, Nick. We might be able to retract. Almost. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Come on. Spring washer and bolt. These bolts are in pretty good nick. That's, that's a plus. I'll get a pair of flush covers in a second. I'll trim them zip ties. So well, there we are at the bushing here. Got nothing to wash her. Just down here on the floor. Sorry, the brake pad warning wire. Okay, so we can't get the uh, radius arm off without getting the um, dra the uh, tie rod off. We're going to do the tie rod ends anyway, so we're going to pull that off. First job is getting the split pin out though. Alright, well about 20 minutes later, the, the split pin wouldn't come out, so we just sheared it off with the rattle gun. We're changing the ball joint anyway. Now I've got ball joint separator on the job. That's not me. <laughs> we'll have separate balls by the time we're done. There we go. All right, that's popped. Yep. Cool, we can pop that out and we can get the radius arm out. Haha. <laughs> Joke's on us. <laughs> uh, I can put the jack under here and push it up a little bit more. Uh, and then we should be okay. Where is my jack handle? That should get us enough to get it out. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's see if we can go here. We go. All right, then we can pull towards me. This is where you get your, your fingers crushed. Where's your crowbar? I'll give you a hand. Go. There we go. You're right. Yep, all good. Has to catch that without knocking anybody out. All right, there's one radius arm out. All right, so uh, we got uh, the bushes off, and a whole bunch of shredded rubber came off. Um, there's definitely been water ingress here. There's a bit of rust. I'm really hoping I can clean that up enough. Um, the clonking sound I've heard is probably this. This is definitely mushrooming out. Uh, and this one is noticeably soft. So definitely past due to do these. This, the state of this might mean that I buy a whole new radius arm at some point. But I'm gonna wire brush it, clean it up, and see how good we can make it for the time being. And uh, it's taken nine years or eight years to get to this point. So we'll see if we get another eight years out of uh, the bod's job we're doing now. One hour later. Cool, we're in at the old man's workshop. I'm going to fold the top of these bushes over a bit, the sleeve on them. And we're going to try and push them out. And I've got an air chisel here that I'm going to hit with a hammer. Because we don't have the right tool. I'm probably taking your job, am I? No. No. Yeah, we want to put these two bits under there to get it level. So now, yeah. oh, I've got to flip it the other way up. What I did wrong. Yep. It should start to rest on there now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so, that is two tons. There it goes, beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, that is way longer. 
Being as we've got a couple of oddball ones, we're going to put the modified ones at the back, brand new ones at the front, and uh, we're going to give things a quick little spray of WD just to help things go in. Not too much. One good way to score. Two and a half. One good way to score your inside. Mm -hmm. you just to put the yeah. Oh, I know. So when we're here, we're almost flush on the other side. So I want to get that even. So I just check each way. There's a lip on the other side. That lip is going to be about right. I think we're about central. We're going to leave it there. All right. Line that up. This one should go flush. I'm make an interesting view, I'm sure. Off, off side, we'll put our shim under that. It's about right. What are we? Yep, we're pretty well right. That's good. All right. This is a uh, KLR Auto part, um, which is the TF1003. Um, working on sponsorship with KLR. They're uh, amenable to the idea, but we're still in negotiations. So these are the uh, the bushes. What we did on the end here, we gave this a good scrub up and a clean up. Um, now we're going to use, we're using the uh, nylon bushes. On the previous one, when I did this for the six wheeler, I used the rubber ones. Uh, we're going to try these out. These are supposedly much better. And they do feel a bit like nolothane, so I'd say we're looking along those lines. We're going to treat them with some uh, grease, which they include. There's a portion of grease for either side. This one's got to go on with the washer. All right. Now let's give it a whack. Put it on there. Okay, there's that one in. Now we crawl under and shove it in the other way. Goes that in. Now we need to, there's a step on that bush. You need to locate into that hole if you can get it. Yeah, it's pretty much there actually. Did you get the old one out? Yeah, it's on the floor here. Okay. Yeah, we need this to, this will push the axle forward slightly. Hopefully. Oh, beautiful. That is going to help a lot. That's almost in. Not my first radio. Yep. Three weeks later. Yep. Is that going in? Yes. Cool, that sounds like it's going in. Yeah. Be beautiful. Yeah. A little bit there, and can I get that bolt in? Feels almost right. Oh, let's go and get anything. Beautiful. If you can get it started, or do you want me to put a bit of pressure on? Um, more pressure. Lift it up a bit. Down, actually. I can see it lining up. Wouldn't recommend doing this, but yeah. <sighs> just a little bit. Or we just wind the bolt in from the other side till it straightens up. Well, that's the other. It's not, not really going in all that well either. All right, so we managed to get it in. A bit of dicking around. We had to roll it forwards and backwards and rotate the axle with the jack a bit but we got it in now we're going to do the other side the driver's side and uh we're going to start with taking the uh the tie rod off on this end 